So Chris Paul has blown yet another 2-0 lead in a series. That makes it five. You have blown five 2-0 series lead in your career. Way to go, Chris Paul. I'm lost for words. I'm truly lost for words. This this is your legacy, Chris Paul. You choked another 2-0 lead. Your legacy will be defined by this. We know how great of a player you are. We know you're going to the Hall of Fame. We get it. We understand what you've accomplished. But in terms of winning a championship, this is your legacy right here. And I really believe that this was your final shot at the championship. And you guys massively blew it. Last year when you got to the finals, I was excited for you. I thought finally Chris Paul was going to get the ring that he desperately needed for his career. That was going to complete his journey. He finally gets that ring. His resume is complete. You get a 2-0 lead against Giannis in the Bucks. It looks like you're going to take over. You're going to finish this out in 5 or 6. You're going to get it done. You proceed to blow a 2-0 lead in the finals. And down the stretch, Chris Paul, you did not play well. Funny. In a lot of these 2-0 leads, you start playing worse as the series goes on. And down the stretch, you fail to show up in some of those moments, which directly led to the 2-0 choke. Very interesting how that happens. Chris Paul turned 37 in the middle of this series. The minute he turned 37, his game disappeared. His offensive game was gone, and you he just looked like a shell of his former self. It's like he legit aged as the series went on. He looked pathetic. Over the last four games of the series, he averaged nine points. Tonight, in a do-or-die situation, an elimination game, game seven on his home court, he put up 10 points. Chris Paul, this is your legacy here. This is what you'll be defined as. This will define your career. A guy that could never win the championship. What makes it worse is you had the opportunity and you kept choking and choking and choking and choking. You choked with New Orleans, you choked with the Clippers, and you're choking with the Suns. How does this keep happening, Chris Paul? How? That's your legacy. Your legacy is tarnished by this. Because when it comes to winning, you can't be mentioned there. You haven't won anything. And it's not like other players that never got a chance. You've had ample opportunities to win the championships. You've been on great teams. You've had the moments. And you failed to get it done. You've blown so many 2-0 leads. Hell, you also blew a 3-1 lead. You've had opportunities to get it done. And you failed to do so. You know what makes it worse? I thought he really had a chance to really finally get one against Steph Curry. 2015 came, Steph Curry wins MVP. 2015, from that point onward, Steph Curry owned Chris Paul. 2014 was that last chance where Chris Paul had an edge over Steph Curry. Steph Curry won that MVP in 2015 and took off. Steph Curry is having the career we thought Chris Paul would have. In terms of winning championships, we thought Chris Paul would win a championship. Curry's got three. And between those three, he's had opportunities to take on Chris Paul. And he's beaten him. He's beaten him on the highest level. He's outclassed him. And it's truly sad. This is your legacy, Chris Paul. You could never get it done. And with you being 37, and age seemingly catching up with you, as the injuries continue to pile on, you get further and further away from getting that ring. Now, who knows? Maybe you end up being one of those players that goes on a really good team towards the end of your career when you're already done and you just sit on a bench and you ride yourself to a ring and you, you know, retire at that point. Maybe that ends up happening. But for now, man, I don't see you winning a championship. Last year was your best opportunity to win a ring. You had a 2-0 lead and you blew it. This year, you come back. Your team is the number one seed. The number one seed. Not only that, you're the number one seed in the Western Conference, but you also had the best record in the NBA. You had the best record in the NBA. And you blew it. You blew it in the second round 
To who? Luka and the squad? What other star player is Luka playing with? What other star player? You've got Devin Booker. You've got DeAndre Ayton. You've got guys here. This team has played far better than what they presented here. This is an embarrassment. And I got to look at Chris Paul and say, once again, another great team you played on chokes in the playoffs. That is your legacy, Chris Paul. That is your legacy. You have to take that with you. You truly have to take that with you. Your legacy is forever tarnished, bro. I'm sorry. You can't come back from this. You honestly cannot come back from this. We're all going to remember the great moments. We're going to remember the great performances you've had in your career. We're going to know all the numbers you put up. You being the point god, you're obviously going to be a Hall of Famer. We don't even have to question that. But when it comes to winning the championship, when it comes to performances in the playoffs, we're going to remember the good performances you had. No question. You had a couple good performances. Let's not pretend like you haven't played well in the playoffs. You have. But when it comes to those huge moments where you've had the opportunity to legitimately win a championship, your team's choked, and you've choked. Five. Five times now. Your team had a 2-0 lead in a playoff series. And you guys went to blow it. You went to completely blow it. You went on and completely choked down the stretch. I don't know how you sit back and let this happen. I don't know how your team sits back and lets this happen. What, what happened, man? What happened? This is your career here. This is what you will be defined as. A choker. A legitimate choker. No other player in NBA history has blown five 2-0 leads. You've blown five. How do you blow five? Two with one team, two with another team, one with a different team. You blew it with New Orleans. You blew it twice with the Clippers. Hell, you blew it twice with the Clippers with a 2-0 lead, and then you blew a 3-1 lead as well to an inferior Rockets team. So you've blown multiple 2-0 leads, you've blown a 3-1 lead, and now you've blown two 2-0 leads. In back-to-back -back years, last year in the finals, you blow a 2-0 lead. This year, you blow a 2-0 lead in the second round. Meanwhile, Steph Curry's back in the conference finals. That guy's been outclassing you since 2015. And all you've done is choke. That's all you've done. All you've done is choke. Well done, Chris Paul. That is your legacy. And that is something that's going to define your career. You may be called the point god, but in the playoffs, you're the choke god. That is what you are. You are the choke god. That's all I got to say as ESPN reports that the game is officially over. CP3, enjoy your offseason. I'm out of here. Peace.